2018 in that push Gorilla. Go your pouch. Rats in a quarter ounce. Two accounts. Hey y'all, it's your girl Manny Anyway, back at it again with another video and today I will be showing you this look and I will be reviewing the Lash Firm Tropic Palette. It is a 35 color eyeshadow palette that they sent to me and they sent me lashes and a couple lipsticks and I will be demoing and reviewing all of that in this video. So if you would like to see that, then keep on watching. <laughs> So I'm gonna be doing a bright look today, so I'm gonna go on with my NYX jumbo pencil as usual, so that my eyeshadows are bright and popping. So I received this beautiful palette from the Lash Firm the other day and I really want to try some of these shadows. It's called the 35 Tropics Palette. So once I got this palette I was so excited because I've never tried like the little glitter shades in here. You see those glitter shades at the top? I have never tried any shadows like that before and y'all. When I tell y'all these things are like crazy pigmented, like what? For my first shade, y'all probably know I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade right here. When swatched, it was like pigmented. So we fence to see if it got some pigment pigment on these eyes, honey. So I'm gonna pat away all of these creases for me running my mouth and I'm going to take this elf blending brush it doesn't have a name it's just the elf blending brush so I'm gonna take that yellow shade and that's gonna be our crease color now it does have a little kickback but I'm not one to be mad at a little fallout okay got a little pigment I will say that I'm not sure how much pigment these eyeshadows would have without this base because I am having to go in a couple times to get the yellow how I like it. You know, I like bold, bright, pigmented colors. So I do not know. I will have to try these without the white base, but it's working really well and it's not patchy at all. It's blending great. So now I'm going to go in with this hot pink shade. It really wouldn't matter which one of these I go in with because they're really similar. So y'all shouldn't do something about that. But I'm going to go in with one of those. Probably mixing them both. But I want to go in with hot pink as my next shade in my crease. Sis. Oh my god. Ah! I've never tried pink and yellow together. I always go orange after the yellow, but this pink. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Lash firm. Who says I could go off like this? This is so pretty. And it's blending into the yellow seamlessly. I'm gonna go right back in with that yellow just to make sure everything is blended in with each other. It's looking bombed. I really just want to add orange to my lid and move on because 
because these eyeshadows do have a little fallout but that's okay i ain't tripping i do my eyeshadow first anyway so love okay so i'm loving that together if you look in the pan you can see that there is a little kickback on the pan but that doesn't really bother me because I'm just blow it away so i'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here i pray that this purple is about something because i hate a weak purple eyeshadow so we finna see and i'm taking it on that same elf blending brush because let's keep it in the family no no g that purple is weak i think i need to go in with a little more eyeshadow base like taking too much work that I don't have to do with other eyeshadow palettes like I don't have to do all this extra work with my other palettes it just I just don't I'm having to put way more love into this than I feel like doing and it doesn't even look that good Like that looks, that doesn't look good to me. Like I could easily take, let's see. I could easily take my Zulu palette, go orange, pink, blue, and be satisfied. <laughs> like this is not good. And I'm using a white base. I thought that would help and make it better. But it's still. I know y'all see me trying. Like I'm not just giving it a bad. Like a bad rep. Just, just for the fun. I'm really not. I'm really blending this out. Like I'm trying. And it doesn't look that bad. Like don't get me wrong. It's not just horrible but it's not that good i'm having to do too much work i'm going in too many times with these colors to blend it out already started over i'm gonna go in with my zulu palette and see if i can fix it this is what i have so far and it's actually not that bad so i'm just gonna move on i'm gonna take my wet n wild medium tawny concealer and I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and cut my crease.
So I'm gonna be adding gold glitter. So I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with these two shades right here. This more bronzy gold and this more champagne peachy gold. And I'm gonna put both of those on my lid. So I have that eyeshadow down, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my clear lash glue down. And I'm not gonna put any glitter close to my lash line because I am gonna be putting on some liquid liner. So the lash firm was nice enough to send me over the palette and a couple lashes. And honey, when I tell you their lashes is popping, their lashes is popping, honey. So I'm gonna take these lashes right here. These lashes are perfect. The band is thick, the lashes are long, they feel so luxurious. I feel like they will last for a long time. This is my first time wearing these, so I'll let y'all know back again how long these lashes are wearing. Are wearing. So I can guarantee y'all see me wearing these again. So I'm gonna go back in with the Tropics palette and I'm gonna take that champagne color that we used to um, set our cut crease. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit, a little bit, very little. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, ma'am. What you were saying? You weren't saying nothing. Okay, so the last firm also sent over a couple of lipsticks. So the first liquid lipstick that I have is purple and the other one I have is pink. I do not wear pink lipstick. If you know me, I'm not pink, I'm not purple. I may do them for Instagram, but if you see me in person, I do not wear a color lipstick because I feel like I look crazy. This is the finished look guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy some of these products. Just to give y'all my final thoughts, the eyeshadow palette was doable with a little extra work and a little extra help. It came out beautifully. This eye, I did not use my Juvia's Place palette. So it ended up coming out looking the same. So it did perform well. I just had to do a little more tweaking and a little extra work. I absolutely love the lipstick. I love this lip. I would definitely be wearing this again and I don't even wear color lipsticks like that. <sighs> I love the look. The eyeshadow as a highlighter was bomb. As you can see, I'm like freaking glowing out of my mind. I'm looking real bronzy. I got a tan the other day, so I don't know. I'm looking popping and my nails just popping. It's yellow and red. Oh wait, it's orange. Yellow and orange. <laughs> but anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss my next video, go ahead and turn on your notification bell so that you will not miss any videos by me because I know y'all like to see me. 
I know y'all like to see how big my puff is getting. Like my hair is growing. My hair is flourishing. I'm not gonna get emotional. Anyway, if you like this video, please come back for the next video. I love you guys so much and I'm so happy that y'all are watching me and showing me love. I love doing this and I will continue to put out videos and reviews because I am getting sick, seeing a lot of makeup right now. So, stay tuned for the reviews and the demos. And if I don't review something on my YouTube channel, nine times out of ten it is on my instagram and these pictures of this bomb look will be on my instagram so make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter and facebook and also add me on snapchat so you can see what i be doing even though i don't be doing nothing so if you like this video please come back for my next video i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all next week bye